everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another extreme budget meal idea recipe video. Today I'm gonna share with you two dinners for $5. around here you already know I love to do extreme budget meal ideas I just like it's my favorite thing in the entire world typically I go to Winco Foods because it's my favorite grocery store plus it's like the least expensive grocery store in my area but sometimes I also go to Walmart because I know they're all over the US and it makes it simple for you guys to see the ingredients that you know you can get for a similar price yes prices are different all across the region they're even different in my own town but today I decided to go to Albertsons, which is probably one of the most expensive local to me grocery stores. Vons Albertsons are owned by the same company. And I have noticed that trending, they are usually the most expensive. But I decided, you know what, if I can go in and get two dinners for $5 each, I would be super happy. But after spending a long time in the store, I realized shopping the sales, the store brand, and even the produce clearance rack, I was able to spend just $5.17 and get two meals for both me and my husband. So I would say between four and six servings total per meal, but we split it between the two of us because maybe we're just big eaters, I don't know. But I think they're really good meal ideas and the lucky thing for you guys is nothing is unique ingredients wise. You can get these ingredients all over the world. There's nothing special about these recipes. They're just simple, easy recipes and all I'm trying to share with you is how inexpensive you can eat if you need to. But if you're someone who is looking for food and you're in the US, make sure to call 211. It's a great service that you can reach out to and they will be able to direct you to the places in your area where you can pick up food. So if you're struggling, don't struggle get food for you and your family, fill your bellies. This is just a video for entertainment and to give you some new meal ideas because a lot of times for myself, when I need extra creativity, sometimes creating a smidge smaller of a budget helps me be super creative and like really narrow in on the ingredients that I'm using. So let's jump in to the first recipe, which I think was the star of the show. Really quick, I'm gonna run through my grocery haul and in the next screen, you're gonna see the prices and my full grocery list. But as you can see here, I did shop the store brand mostly and then I also shopped the like produce clearance section. So I'll explain all of that in a little bit. I know it doesn't look pretty, but $5.17 is what I spent. This first recipe does take a little bit to work ahead. I'm going to make a homemade bread. I had yeast on hand, but if I had to pick up yeast, it would cost me like an extra 70 cents for a little triple packet. But three cups of flour, a half teaspoon of yeast, a teaspoon of salt, and about a cup and a half of warm water. If you've ever made homemade bread before, the water you add in very slowly because it's very fickle depending on if you live in a humid or a dry climate or the temperature of your kitchen. So I like to add it a little bit at a time and then mix it in slowly. But the kicker to this is I actually added in my sweet corn. As long as you use instant or fast acting yeast, you let it sit for at least three hours, then you're gonna preheat your oven to 450 degrees. I do a double, um, bread pan method which i actually learned from frugal fit mom i don't have a dutch oven so this works great for me and these little pans came from the dollar store so win-win on being super frugal and budget friendly but when my dough is done i know it's done because it's at least doubled in size i put a little bit of flour on the counter a little bit of flour on my hand scoop it out of my bowl and then I kind of like to put a little bit of flour on it so it doesn't stick to my bread pan. But the one bread pan is in the oven while it's preheating and then I take a second bread pan and pop it over the top of it and bake it at 450 degrees for 30 minutes. At the 30 minute mark, I take the lid off and bake it for another 15 minutes. This is a really crunchy, crispy bread, but it's super doughy in the inside and you will see here in a second it's the most beautiful loaf of bread if you don't have two um 
bread pans, you can put it in a glass baking dish and then cover it with tin foil. Same method, cover it for 30 minutes and then take the foil off for the remaining 15. Do it however you can in your oven and it's perfection every single time. If you are scared of making bread, this is the route to go. I have made a bunch of different types of bread since this, but it's the one I keep going back to because it's the easiest one to make. And then for this dinner, this was the side item and what we did is we did a beans and peppers and onions and then we actually put hot sauce on it but I forgot to show you that and it was kind of like okay it was kind of like the cowboy style dinner which is like beans and cornbread but I just kind of did it my own way it was super super good next time I make this I will probably add rice I know that's an additional carb and a lot of people are like whoa you already eat a really high carb high starchy diet where's the protein um the beans are the protein <laughs> they're also the starch but this was really delicious it was really simple and I feel like everybody has these ingredients on hand which is what my mindset always is when I'm going into these you know, extreme budget meal ideas is what's the easiest items that we can use that's in our pantry, but also how can we use rice and beans and pasta and flour over and over and over. So I also don't cook with oil. I saute things in water, but if you cook with oil, you can absolutely use oil. I just keep an eye on it. And then I add some seasonings that were on hand. With these kind of budget meal ideas, I use whatever seasonings I have on hand. You don't need seasoning for your food, trust me. This is new to me. If you've been on my channel for a while, you know I used to just use salt because salt is the ultimate seasoning in my book. But I've dabbled in some seasonings here recently. I know many of you are very proud. So I toasted the bread, had it on the side with the beans and the veggies, and like I said, I did add hot sauce and it was amazing. You should try this bread out and let me know what you think over on Instagram when you do because I can't wait to hear from you. For the second recipe, I decided to do a roasted veggie and pasta. So I took the Mexican style roasted um, tomatoes and I made my own pasta sauce, added some garlic and onion powder. So typically I would have gotten the Italian stewed tomatoes, but they didn't have any on sale. And I think these were 69 cents a can and they had like celery salt and some kind of other seasonings. I don't know, it worked fine. I put it in this little food processor slash blender that I've had for like 11 years. It's wonderful. It's like the best little kitchen appliance ever. And I threw it together and made a little sauce. I do this all the time with like canned tomatoes. I think it tastes really good. You can season it however you want, add some nutritional yeast. Okay, let's talk about this cauliflower real quickly. It is on its way out the door, but I saved it for 99 cents on the reduced produce rack. Same with my onion, which had a spot on it. And I think the pepper and the corn I paid full price for, but here's the thing. 
At first, I was like, you know what? I shouldn't buy stuff at the produce rack because people are going to be like, ew, look at that cauliflower that she just bought. That's disgusting. But then I thought, you know, the whole reason I went plant-based in the first place is because of food waste. Secondly, if this was grown in your garden, you wouldn't just toss this aside and be like, can't use it. It's going in the compost pile. No, you would be like, you know what? It's got a little bit of spots on it. I'll just wash it, trim it off, and then I'll eat it. And that is obviously not the concept we see when we go to the grocery store. A lot of times we are visual and we are spending our hard earned money. So we want the best, brightest, most beautiful item on the shelf. But the reduced produce rack is actually a great deal. Cauliflower in Albertsons, the week I bought for this um, specific menu for these two uh, meals was 99 cents a pound. And that head of cauliflower was like three and a half pounds. So I trimmed off a little bit. Yeah, you know, it was a little bit brown. I made sure it was really washed. I did wash it in white vinegar, but it turned out great. So I roasted the um, cauliflower and the onions at 475 degrees. I give the cauliflower a head start for about 15 minutes. Roasted them all together for maybe like 20, 25 minutes at 450, 475. And then I just made my pasta. We all know how to make pasta stirred in the veggies, stirred in the sauce, and then we had some extra bread, so I served it on the side. I didn't have bread with it because honestly, <laughs> we split this pot of pasta between the two of us. It was a lot of food, 16 ounces of pasta, about three pounds of cauliflower, a half of an onion, a thing of sauce. Yeah, it was a delicious meal. We really enjoyed it. And like I said, we had some bread to serve on the side. watching today's video I hope you really liked it give it a big thumbs up if you want to see another two for five dollar dinner ideas it'll help me be really creative this week so you're probably gonna get one anyways I really really cannot tell you enough to try the sweet corn bread it's just something different to a regular spin on like three ingredient dough bread I make that bread literally all the time it's probably been maybe a month since I've made it because it's been really hot here but I love bread. I love it. I could live off of bread. I basically did like all winter. So try it. It will also tell you that the recipe is in the description box with a couple of tweaks and additives if you wanna step it up a little bit and make it a little more flavorful. I would definitely add some onion powder and garlic salt to it just so it has like a big pop of flavor, but it's so good. I would, I would highly recommend eating it making it and eating it again. My husband actually said it would be really, really good with earth balance butter. We like to use the earth balance vegan butter, which we didn't have any on hand, but that would be so delicious. Oh, so good. But thank you so much for watching. I'll stop talking about bread now and I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye-bye.